Welcome to Jones Belt at Dinner Adventures. Here we are, Search of History, and we're in an ancient land. Hello, I'm Michael, and I'm with Jones Detecting Adventures today. Detecting with my trusty Equinox 800, the Mine Lab. Always good for me, and I love it. What machine are you using then, Dave? Uh, I'm using the uh, XP ORX. What machine are you using today? I'm using today an old Lobo. The old Lobo, eh? Yep. Is that Tesoro? It is, yeah, they're using yeah. the their top machine. We've got Michael with his first silver. We've only been in five minutes. What have you got there, pal? Uh, it's not even five minutes, mate. This is like uh, three minutes. My first signal. <laughs> A little George, little silver. Clear oh. as hell. And this is... I've not even got my gloves dirty, look at that. 1920. 1920 for Red silver cracker. Silver! <laughs> they call me Long John. <laughs> There's a cracking signal, 67, and um, trowel for the use of, I got two now. <laughs> Sort the badge. Interesting. Bit of a rim of a pot. 18th century, uh, 18th, 19th century. Looks like some sort of silver watch device of some kind. That's what I think. Bit beaten up like, but that's what we think it is. Musket shot. St. Christopher Pendant, bronze, but that's what we've got there. I have got it. It's uh, Carl from Spinner Disc has got this one. Not all, though. Yeah. Is that your pendant? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How did that cup be silver, you know? I don't think it is. No. But it could be. It's a blue glazed pottery. I think that's Chinese, maybe. Bit of a butterfly there. Cosmetic jewellery, I think. Clay pipe, stem. 17th, 18th century, clay pipe stem. Not often the rookie comes up with finds of the day, but here we are with John's Detecting Adventures, out with the legend that is John himself, and a bunch of, of his mates, uh, Stuart and Carl from Spinner Disc, and their mate Dave. So the five of us trekked around North Yorkshire this morning on permissions that uh, their friend has, and they've got some really cool stuff. However, the rookie comes up with finds of the day. First out of the field, and I'd been on the land maybe a minute, and got my first signal, George Threepence, and it's literally 106, 104 years old, that 1920, a little Threepence, quite like that. But then we moved on to another field, and would you believe, while the guys are setting up, and I'm saddled up and ready to go, I walk onto the field, and guess what? First signal out of the tin, a Victoria Sixpence. This one is 1868, and these are my favourites, because a young Victoria, sexy little bird that was. So Vicky and George, what can I say? These were finds of the day. The rookie comes up trumps. Let's go and have a wander around and look at some old gravestones. I think it's going to be fun. Graves everywhere around us. Got a feeling of tranquility around here. Really, really good. I quite like it. Let's have a wander around the old yard. What a grave here. 18, 1832, and he was 72 years old means he was born in the mid 1600s that's incredible look at all these elizabeth, elizabeth dickens she died 1872 she might have lost the penny if you have i brought it back for you <laughs> robert fools late of kellington who departed this life february 1834 he was 38 years old so he was born in 1796 
first bee of the season. <laughs> so she was born in 1736. Oh, blimey, man. That's 290 odd years ago. 290 Look at that. Years 17, ago, that. 1766. It's incredible, isn't it? The wife of George Gilliam, who died November 1860, aged 20 years. Whew, that's young. Departed this life 26th day of March 1829, aged five years wow. and ten months. Husband's loved embrace by the rude man to him so kind, an image of thyself has left, and thy sweet babe left behind. Wow. I carved he mourns and spelt it M O R N S. Oh, right. And they had to put a U in. The little, the little, oh, yeah. They put a U in. So, sorry. Because obviously that was. They forgot to put the U. Yeah, you, don't, you don't go back and start over, do you? So, no, not, not on a well, sorry, like I'll give you 10% off for that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Small people, I mean, I almost fill up that whole doorway. Hey, <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's the shirt of the church. So, we've had a little tour on the church. Had a good tour, had a good day out on the fields. Yeah, to drive home nice and steady. And uh, thanks to everyone involved, it was great to be out with the five of us. <laughs> well, that's the end of the metal detecting day. I didn't find much. And Neither did the rest of our friends except Michael did did pretty well. So we're now all off now back home to rest up for another day. Thanks for joining us and catch you later.